but already your governor or your chairman South South has said it. If we don't kill corruption in this country, corruption will kill Nigeria. Expectations were high when Muhammad Buhari was sworn in as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Their expectations were based on hope the president Buhari would fight corruption to a standstill. In a chat with Galazi News, legal practitioner Adekun Lojo said the effort of the lower house to amend the CCBCCT Act is ill-advised at a time when Nigerians are eager about fighting corruption to a standstill. He advocates a strengthening of institutions in the country, which will facilitate the creation of a credible and prosperous country. In view of the fact that there is a pending case against the Senate president, I felt that the National Assembly should tread with caution. If any amendment, am, amendment should ever be proposed to the uh, 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 Code of Conduct Bureau Act, uh, then I think it should be after the termination of the pending cases, especially the ones that involve members of the National Assembly. Because the Executive Director of Social Economic Rights Project, Momuni Adetukumbo, challenged Nigerians to look beyond any proposed amendments in the CCBCCT Act and learn to constructively engage political office holders in the country. He said the prosperity of the country is in the hands of all Nigerians and all hands must be on deck to ensure accountability and probity. The price for freedom and liberty and good governance is perpetual vigilance. Now, uh, don't forget that in the setup of the National Assembly, there is this provision in the Electoral Act that, talk, that talks about recall of the representatives. What are, the, what are Nigerians doing? If indeed what the members of the National Assembly want to do now, is contrary to what Nigerians in, in our multitude wants. Can't the constituents exercise the power of the call? That is part of what the Constitution and the Electoral Law has given us. But we are not exercising anything. As Nigerians wait anxiously to see if the proposed amendment will be signed into law, it is expected that the House of Representatives will propagate laws that strengthen institutions in the country.